Hello, in this Visual Basic programming video, we are going to take a look at the stack data container. Okay, so a stack, as you may, you know, as you probably would imagine, is, you know, okay, think of it like this, a stack of items. If you stack up on a box, for example, you generally wouldn't take the bottom one because you, you risk, you know, the entire stack toppling over and you would take the top one even though that's the last one being added, is called LIFO, last in, first out. So that's what a stack basically is. Whereas other sort of, you know, data collections in Visual Basic aren't necessarily ordered in any way, except for, you know, some of the sorted ones, but most of them aren't in memory, let's say. You just access them directly, or you access them via, you know, some sort of key, and then it's fine. Whereas with a stack, you, if you add one, then add another one, then add another one. And then if you remove one, you'll remove the last one added, not the first one. But let's just dive right in and create a stack. So just do dim, let's call it SDK as stack equals new stack. Okay, and we're gonna do SDK dot push. And in here, we just provide the value that we, you know, are pushing. So if we put one, and I'll just do, you know, one, two, three, four, just to keep it simple. But you can put whatever you want in there. So the five now. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, pretty cool. Now, let's just look at printing them out for now let's just you know just get that done and we can do that like so so we know that they are strings so let's just create a string so let's do dim and let's call this str as a string like so and now if we do a for each loop so for each str in SDK, and if we just do console.write line, and in here, if we just put str run it, we get 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So as you can see, it's in reverse order. So the first one it has access to is the last one that has been added. And you can add more, and it'll be the same principle. So let me just you know remove one to remove an item in a stack it's really simple you just pop it so the technical terms are pushing and popping so you push it onto stack or you pop it off the stack and to pop it you just do stk dot pop so this doesn't take any parameters because it doesn't remove a particular one it just removes the last one and if i were to just run this bit of code again and if i run it uh, what I'll do, I'll do a console.write line and do another console.write line and I'll just put after popping <laughs> after popping, run it and there we go we have 4, 3, 2, 1 so the first one has been removed or the last one I should say or the, was the, sort of like the first one in the stack that we have access to so if we were to run this, I don't know, two times, let me get rid of that. If I run it two more times, the idea is you'll remove five with this one, four with this one, and then three with this one. Let's find out. There we go. It does two and one. So that's pretty, pretty cool. And honestly, there's nothing more to it than that. There are some other methods that you can use when using stacks like count which allows you to you know, get the amount of values, for example, and you know contain, so you can check if it contains the particular value. But for the most part, this is what you need to know. What I'll do is provide a link to all of the different features of Stacks, so you can peruse it in your own time. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next programming video.